guys, this is We Are Artsy, and today I'm doing a review on the BRS Replicant. Um, it's a really nice knife, and I'm really happy to be doing this for you because um, I'm going to be flipping this for practically all of my videos from now on. So, um, By the way, this is the last video before Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Um, I'm going to be going to Africa, as I said in that other video, for the whole month of January. So I won't be posting for that whole month, so this is the last video in like a month. Um, I'm going to have no communi cell communication or anything, so it's going to be kind of hard to like communicate with you guys. So I'm just going to be off the grid for a month. I'll come back in February and I'll make another tutorial. Okay, so this is the BRS Gray G10 Replicant. And... It's a knife that has sandwich handle construction. So what I mean by that, there's two different types of construction of a knife. There's sandwich handle and there's channel. And um, so sandwich is basically defined as, you know, when the knife is made by putting together many different pieces, such as a spacer and liners. And what's nice is that it um, allows the blade to fit within the space so let's let me what's nice is it, the blade fits in the space as you can see right there um, between the two liners um, the big difference is that channel construction which is not this knife is it's found to be very sturdy and it requires far less maintenance than the sandwich construction um, this construction is frequently used by companies that produce budget aluminum trainers. And some common balisongs that have this are like the Krakens, the Squid Trainers, Squiddies, um, Hypexes, and stuff like that. Okay, so this also has Zen pins um, right there, making it different than, you know, um, like a clone, which would have tang pins. The titanium in the handles is anodized to be blue as you, I hope you can see yes yeah, so there's blue right here and then there's blue right here those that's anodized um, what's really nice about this knife and why peop most people get it and like it is because it's a modular knife and so there's many ways you can customize it to fit your liking um, so for instance um, different ways you can customize it you can buy differently designed or colored scales. So scales are this gray right here. That's considered a scale. So you can easily buy like a different color. Like if I wanted white, I could buy white, you know? And I could easily take it apart and put the white scales on and make it look really cool. Um, you can also anodize the titanium liners to, to have different colors, fades, and other stuff. Um, it's really nice about that quality because some knives um, it's not as easy to customize it in that way with the anodizing. Um, you can also change the finish on the blade by stone washing, acid washing, and more. Um, yeah, so it's really easy to change the blade. I don't have an example of that right now, but if you look it up you probably could find it. So my honest opinion about the knife, I think it's, I would rate it 9.5 out of 10. Um, I really like it. It's my dream knife. I've always wanted this knife. <laughs> and um, the big difference from this knife versus other knives I've flipped is that the G10 handles are very different to flip when compared to titanium handles. So this material is much different than titanium. It makes a different sound and everything. Um, the grip is a lot different when you're doing tricks. Um, definitely when you're catching aerials with a fully titanium knife it can be a bit heavy but these are a lot easier to catch with because the knife's a lot lighter. Also what's really cool about this is that the gray scales that are on this knife are pretty rare and um, so they're kind of wanted in the community so hopefully you can get a a cool scale to your BRS replicant. Uh, the BRS logo is on the knife, which is kind of cool. Um, it indicates that they made it, which is a nice touch. So speaking of the blade, there's um, two types of blade shapes. There's alt and standard. And alt is right here. Um, this part of the knife right here is what makes it alt. 
Um, if it didn't have this little, it's a swedge, if it didn't have this, it would be considered standard. And personally, I like it. I think it gives it a nice finish. Right here, uh, I you probably noticed already, I'm not sure, but the pivots are reversed. Um, it's not very common to have this. Don't at me. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to move on to the horns. Um, the horns are these things right here sticking out. Some people don't like them, but I really don't care about them. Like, I don't really think they get in the way, um, which is good. Also, um, every knife starts off with player tap, and over time it develops um, play and tap. Right now, since this is pretty new, it doesn't really have any player tap. That's play. Um, tap is when you hold the knife like this. You hold it by one handle like this, and then you go like this, and if you can hear the blade like hitting the inside, then it has tap. Um, this has a little bit, not too much. And you can get rid of that by um, tightening the pivots. So, but yeah, play is right here when you like go like this and there really isn't much because again this is a new knife but over time you will develop play and tap and it just happens so you can't do anything about it so you can get this knife on Blade HQ on KnifeCenter.com or on BRS the site BRS itself and it usually goes for about three hundred and fifteen dollars um but that's on a drop usually so you would have to wait you, you would have to like follow them on instagram and stuff and see when they're gonna drop like a bunch of knives so you can go get one um the easier way to get one i would say and the cheaper way is usually from a secondary source and those can be found on instagram on reddit places like that mostly just instagram and you can search the hashtag um battle song sale or something like that and people will sell replicants usually for cheaper than 315 um yeah i got this for cheaper than 315 but definitely look there try not to get ripped off and if you're buying one from a secondary source make sure they show you the play and tap and they show you that the knife's over good overall for the price they're giving it to you for Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below any questions you have, and I'll make sure to answer them. Or you can contact me on Instagram in the DMs, and my Instagram's right there.